Hello everyone. I Trisha Dora Borwar from the Bhupen Hazirka School of Mass Communication, Krishna Kanta Hundiko State Open University. Would like to welcome you all to this MOOC course on gender and the media. This particular course is an elective course consisting of 12 weeks duration. It has a total of 17 modules and 40 units. This particular course will be offered at the master degree level. Now, let me give a brief background of this particular course. Woven throughout our daily lives, media insinuate their messages into our consciousness at every turn. All forms of media communicate images of the sexes, many of which perpetuate unrealistic, stereotypical and limiting perceptions. There are three basic themes that describes how media represent the gender. First, women are underrepresented, which falsely implies that men are the cultural standard and women are unimportant or invisible. Secondly, men and women are portrayed in stereotypical ways that reflect and sustain socially endorsed views of gender. Thirdly, the depictions of relationships between men and women emphasize the traditional roles and normalize violence against women. The issues related to media, identity and gender are very much integral to the discipline of media and gender studies. The presence of women on the radio, television and in print is more likely to provide positive role models for women and girls to gain the confidence of women as sources and interviewees and to attract a female audience. This particular MOOC course aims to introspect into this varied areas. Now let us look at the course objectives. The basic course objectives are to understand the role of media in representation of genders, to look into the challenges faced by women in the field of journalism, to prepare the learners to meet the needs of an increasingly and ethnically and gender diverse workplace. Now the expected course outcome are the learners will be able to analyze human interactions and social or political systems using a gender lens. It will enable the learners to conduct scholarly research on key gender issues and other debates. Thirdly, the learners will be able to demonstrate an understanding of gender as it intersects with sexuality, race, ethnicity, religion, class, and other critical variables. Now, as far as the target audience is concerned, this particular course is intended for the learners who are interested in learning the theoretical frameworks of gender, feminism, and media studies and to understand the interrelatedness of gender and media. So this particular course will look into the different facets of how media influences the gender game and how gender is a very important part of our lives. Thank you so much.